he was a sinner? No. Okay. So you don't believe Muhammad is a sinner. So the Quran says mm -hmm. Muhammad is a sinner. Show me substantiate. Yeah, sure. Uh, there's about there's about three verses mm -hmm. that shows that Muhammad is a sinner, yeah? Okay. Fine. You are back? Yes. So here it is, yeah? Mm -hmm. uh, so you know, O Muhammad, that there is no God except Allah. Mm -hmm. And ask forgiveness for your sin mm -hmm. and for the believing men and believing women. Mm -hmm. There you go. Yes. God is saying, ask forgiveness for your sin. Mm -hmm. So if Muhammad is not a sinner, mm -hmm. Allah wouldn't say, ask forgiveness for your sin. So Muhammad is a sinner. Do you agree? We no, I don't agree. We believe that. You don't agree? No, I don't, I don't yeah, agree go in the sense that we believe that Muhammad, Muhammad was uh, infallible. Infallible? And, uh, yeah, infallible. Okay. Do, you have, that, do you have wait, a proof that, to... That, that, no, that is my understanding. And again, I'm, I'm a layman. In a sense. Understanding this from is, reading the Quran? Understanding from uh, reading the Quran and listening to uh, scholars. Uh, also, Muhammad used to humble himself and always seek forgiveness. So we have a, ha a hadith where he used to pray at night, the entire night, and then uh, until his feet small and then Aisha told him like why are you praying you've already been guaranteed Jannah and he told me should I be shouldn't I be uh, thankful so in that sin, sense God um, made it impossible for him to commit sin uh, but for example you have uh, but God is the one God is the one talking here ask yeah. forgiveness for your sin so if you're saying what, what, God yeah. made it impossible for him to yeah. sin yeah. Why would God say, it's, ask forgiveness for your sin? I know, it's something that, astaghfirullah, uh, we should always seek uh, refuge and forgiveness for it's sins. Exactly. Yeah, it's yeah, something that it's we the all same, say. It's the same with believing men and women. For all of us. It's a message for all of us. So now, he's a sinner? I, 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 no, no. So he's I a sinner? If, if Muhammad read, was a sinner? If you read it uh, like that, and I have to look at it, if That's you read it, for, it like that, Surah 47, then you could 19. imply that, but it is our, it is consensus that he is not a sinner. That is... No, but the Islam does not say Muhammad is not a sinner. Islam says Jesus is not a sinner. Satan could not touch the placenta mm -hmm. of Jesus. Mm -hmm. He touched everyone mm -hmm. except Jesus, Satan. Yeah. He touched Muhammad himself. Yeah. yeah? It, Muhammad said that inside Al Bukhari. But no, Jesus, Muhammad. Sinner. Well, we're not talking about that. Oh. We're not talking. That's independent. You need to prove your claim on that one. Yeah, that's what he says but in your Quran, there are three verses that says Muhammad is a sinner. This is one of them. No, we don't believe that. But your Quran no, says I, it. I well, you can, <laughs> your, your Quran says it. That is why the Quran says, for the interpretation, asalu ahl dikr. No, give me the interpretation. Give me the tafsir of this verse. We don't interpret it. it no, but there is, is again, a tafsir, though. I there, can is a there is a tafsir. Shall we get it out? Yeah. Uh, you, you could get it out? Yeah. Because according to your scholars, you're saying Muhammad is infallible. Mm -hmm. You know what infallible means? Infallible yeah, means... I, I, impossible to... Uh, impossible to, 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 to sin. To sin yes. Okay. That can only be attributed to God. Every single human being is a sinner. Mm -hmm. All humans are sinners, Allah says in the Quran, including yeah. Muhammad. Allah says in the Quran, he doesn't do nothing from his mind. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry? The Prophet Muhammad doesn't do nothing from la, his mind. He's not his own hawa. decision by Jibreel. But that Whatever doesn't mean he, he didn't sin though. Yeah, that's that didn't right. mean he didn't sin. He did sin. Muhammad sinned many, many times. You say Muhammad is just saying. Yeah, I didn't say it. The Quran says it. I know show, I'm show saying it too, but the Quran sin, says. Show me a sin, a clear sin. The Quran, yeah, the Quran, the Quran, Quran 47. Says, seek forgiveness. Yeah. No, but ask forgiveness for your yeah. sin. Yeah, 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 yeah. So if this you're not a sinner, yeah. you don't ask forgiveness. No, no, this is a for concept in Islam. If you're not a sinner. Even if you're infallible, it's a way of being humble. You ask forgiveness. Okay, it's, can you prove that yeah. from Islam? Yes, it is something. Go on, actually, prove it. Prove it. Okay. You got you've got internet well, on your phone. Yeah. Prove well, that this is Islamic. It is Islamic. Yeah, prove because, it. Because it. Because I'm giving you the Quran. I'm yeah. not just talking no, from I my mind. I and I'm going to give you the tafsir every, as well. Every layman Muslim knows that asking forgiveness for sins is um, is uh, fundamental. It's a fundamental aspect. Sinner. Sorry? Because you are a sinner, you sin, you ask for forgiveness. Exactly. So what kind of sin mm -hmm. did Muhammad did? Mm -hmm. Allah asked Muhammad to ask forgiveness for his sins. Would you say, for example, um, Daniel had me out. As a human being, would you say killing someone is sin? Yes. Slapping someone is sin? Yeah. 
Yes. Beating someone is sin. Yes. Lying is sin. Definitely. Would you agree with that? Those things are the things we ask for. Well, sins are absolutely. Uh, no. Would you agree with those four things, for example, that they are sin? They need to be asked for. I, I, again, for I'm not a scholar. Sins are absolutely defined. And in that sense, if they're defined that way in the Islam, it is a sin. So does it, does it, Allah defines it or your Quran? The, the Quran and the Sunnah define okay. it. So Daniel, can you read the tafsir as Allah defines in the Quran? Yeah. Let's see scholars, what the scholars say. The tafsir of Ibn Abbas, mm -hmm. yeah? So no, O Muhammad, there is no God except Allah. Mm -hmm. There is none that harms or benefits, gives or withhelds, mm -hmm. raises, abases, mm -hmm. except Allah. Mm -hmm. And it is also said that the means and know that there is nothing that has merit of there is no deity except Allah. Again, yeah. Ask forgiveness for your sin, mm -hmm. O Muhammad. Mm -hmm. When he beat up Zayd ibn Salmin, the Jew. Yeah. This is Ibn Abbas Tafsir. And for the believing men and women as well to seek forgiveness for the sins of the believing men and women. So Muhammad is saying, so Allah is saying, Ask forgiveness for your sin and for the believing men and women. So Allah is putting Muhammad in the same basket as you. No, it is our understanding and this is what you're presenting. No, this is Ibn Taf Tafsir Ibn, Kathir, uh, should, Ibn Abbas. Ibn Abbas, I should look into it. Surah 47, Ayah 19. Yeah. I would have Check to out Tafsir Ibn Abbas. There is Al Jalalain if you want it. There is Ibn Kathir, which is very, is very the, long. Uh, what, is the, uh, what is the verse? Surah uh, 47, Ayah 19. Remember, this is only the first one. We've got two more to go. Well, this. <laughs> what, what surah is this? 47. 47. Oh, you got the Quran with you? Yeah. Oh. 47, yeah. Ayah 19. Do you read Arabic? Yes. Okay, so I've got that. Um, oh, he's on the phone. Which uh, I am 19. And the thing is, yeah, Jesus was not uh, deemed like this. Allah never said, ask forgiveness for your sin to Jesus. And we don't see in the hadith either, but Muhammad is. So who's greater in Islam, Muhammad or Jesus? Yeah, that's the one, yeah. You see? No, so I Muhammad... Need to, I need to read the interpretation. Yeah, yeah, no problem. We've got it here as well. So Muhammad is a sinner, yeah? Muhammad is not a sinner. What is it saying? What is your Quran saying or your tafsir? Your tafsir and Quran say Muhammad is a sinner. Interrupting me, I'll never get to the point. I don't need to interrupt you. I've read it already that Muhammad is a sinner. Muhammad is not a sinner. Does it say Muhammad is not a sinner? Okay, now we go to Surah 19, Ayah 19. Until you take, uh, until you take your time. It says, "He said, I am only a messenger of the Lord that I may bestow on you a faultless son, which is Jesus. Mm -hmm. Jesus is seen as faultless." In your faultless, yeah, which yeah, means sinless. Fault, faultless. Sinless. Yes, yes, yes. So Jesus is sin as sinless in Islam, yeah. but Muhammad is sin as sinful. Mm -hmm. Who's greater in well, Islam? Now you're again. No, but I'm not no, no, but what, what yes, you read? Yes, I want you to explain yes. from what you read. No, 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 I'm, I'm not. I, I, is he a sinner? No, no, I don't. We don't believe it is our. So consensus. explain what you read. Explain yeah, what you read. No, this is explanation is not uh, 
uh, we shouldn't do interpretation. It's for the scholars. No, you read the interpretation. Yeah. The interpretation no, no, is there not, already. It's not, no, it's not. It's not. Uh, what did you just read? It, it, you read an interpretation, right? No, but it's it's not clear. But you read the Quran yeah, and yeah, the interpretation. Yeah, yeah. Now know, I just want you to explain is, to me. Yeah. Okay. It is from our belief to refer to the scholars for the interpretation, and the scholars have established that Muhammad is not a uh, sinner. No, they haven't established Yes, that. they have established I just this read, is, I just read Ibn come, Abbas, well, the first can, cousin of yeah, Muhammad. Yeah, 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 yeah. You if can't that, get better if, than that. Well, no, if that was so clear, then it would be a fact that all mu Muslims would adhere to that and acknowledge that he is a sinner. But the, actually, the, uh, the opposite is uh, reality. We believe that Muhammad is free of sin. Exactly. So now the owners is on you. Came to him. I understand. The owners yeah. is on you yeah. to yeah. show me yeah. why you believe that when yeah. your scriptures yeah. are going yeah. against what you're no, saying. Well, well, we have scripture and we have a hadith, and it is again very clear from uh, the information which I have read that he is infallible. No, uh, the, the, your, your hadith, is, yeah. my brother. The hadith does not say Muhammad is infallible. In fact, mm -hmm. Sahih al-Bukhari goes on to say, mm -hmm. Muhammad had to ask forgiveness for his sin mm -hmm. 70 yeah. times a day. Yeah, yeah. yeah I understand 70. That yeah, I know. So, he's so, not infallible. Infallible men don't go around and ask forgiveness for their yeah. sin. They don't. Oh, yeah. But you don't understand the concept of asking forgiveness for sin even though you're sinless. It's a concept in Islam which is very common. But Jesus never, never, never did that. Jesus was called sinless. So who's greater? If he's sinless and Muhammad is sin, no, well, this, the logic but, is yeah, but, but you keep, Jesus you, is greater. You, you keep on repeating yourself. Muhammad is sinful. This is your interpretation. We believe. Uh, this is my interpretation. We, we believe the opposite. We believe the opposite. But let's. But you haven't uh, proved that, though. Yeah, you you well, believe well, that, but you haven't yeah, proved it. Yeah. Well, I need you to. Uh, we refer back to the scholars, and they have a clear I just explanation. Did. Is Ibn I Abbas? You, Ibn Abbas is like the first cousin yeah, of Muhammad. Yeah, but but it's still. That's means, a tough yeah, I, I understand. You can present it in this way. But I wanted, what I wanted to ask you is uh, that Muhammad is a sinner. I'm just. <laughs> Do you believe in uh, original sin? Every man is born a sinner. Every every man is born a sinner. Every human being. That's why we need a savior. Due to uh, due to the sin of Adam. Yeah. Uh, so hypothetically speaking, if a baby is uh, born and he dies. Is he then a sinner or sinless? He's, he's a sinner, but he's not responsible for his sin. He's not responsible for his sin. Yeah, because so he's he a goes baby. To heaven? Yeah, I believe so, but the Bible is not explicit on that. But I believe he does. So he does. I believe he does, but the Bible is not explicit on that. Okay. Your responsibility will begin when you are mentally, yeah, mentally, mentally okay. mature. But the Bible says how all men have sinned and fallen short of the glory of God, which is why we needed a savior. So you don't teach a baby to lie. You don't teach him to lie. They will lie when they're two years old. They will lie to you. Why? Because it's already in them. That's why they need a savior to wash that sin away. But, uh, your concept of God, is it is he uh, all merciful, absolutely merciful, yeah, yeah. absolutely just? He's holy, yeah. he's merciful, yes. he's loving, yes. and he's, uh, he has justice. But how, how then do you rhyme that with the concept of him requiring a blood sacrifice for sinful people? We're all, all uh, born sinful, we're, all, we're not perfect, we're not angels. Why then would God require um, a actual blood sacrifice? If he's intrinsically uh, omnipotent, all merciful, why can he just choose to forgive? Because, if you're because, because, he, because yeah. he chose yeah. to sacrifice. But, but why would you have to... Uh, for example, if I see... If, if you're crossing the road in a... I, I, there's a car coming speeding your way why would I if I'm all-powerful if I can just pull you back throw my son in front of the car and then pull you back why would I No, he didn't he didn't throw the son in front of the car well that's what the son went in willingly what but why the son was not unwilling he did it willingly so he didn't throw the son yes. 
the son did it. But yeah, if willingly. you're all powerful, why wouldn't you just pull that well, baby, uh, or, or you in this case, uh, 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 pull him back? And wh why is there a son that is uh, being sacrificed? Because for everyone to live, yes. there needs to be something to be sacrificed. This Let me give an example. Let me give an example. Concept come from? Let me give an example. Yes. Yeah. Yes. For you to live on yes. Earth, yes. you must sacrifice something physically. Mm -hmm. Yeah. For us to live, we need to eat. Which means, well, let me explain. Which means we need to sacrifice an animal, or we need to sacrifice a plant if you're a vegetarian. Mm -hmm. Your physical body cannot live without food. Mm -hmm. Yeah. You have to sacrifice something. Spiritually, it's the same thing. We sin against God. Mm -hmm. God, mm -hmm. that's, how, that's how he created it. Mm -hmm. The principle is something must pay the price. Mm -hmm. So God paid the price yeah. by coming down as a human nature mm -hmm. and sacrificed himself for us. That's the principle God created. So you can't say, why can't he not do so? God can do whatever but way he can. He can do it the way you said it. But he chose to do it this way because that's how he created the world. I understand that. Okay. But um, coming back to the point, if he's omnipotent, all-powerful, all-merciful, why would he, if he's all-merciful, why would he choose to sacrifice his son? For example, if you were hypothetically to, uh, for you to save me, you have to sacrifice your, say you had a child, you just had a baby born, and he's, uh, he's still, uh, 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 he's free of sin. Would you then think it's a merciful thing for you to sacrifice a child to save me? Is that, that's it, just, not, that, that's just not what's happening. Concept. But it, what's it, happening it here is yeah. the child, yeah. the son, which is Jesus, yeah. was willing to be sacrificed. Was he willing or not? Yes, was, he was, was willing. He in the Garden of Gethsemane, Jesus was willing to be sacrificed. Say, Take this cup away from you. Yeah, and then what did he say afterwards? What did he say? That's what I'm saying. Muslims yeah. need to finish sentences. Yes. Yeah? yeah, he said, Father, yeah. let your will be done, yeah. not your, my will. But what does that so say? What, what does was, that imply? No, but let, what was the will yeah. of the Father? Yeah. yeah, what does that say exactly? What is it? So if, if you're to take he, this cup away from me and let your will be done, it's clearly showing that because he, he didn't really no 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 he did he he, w he went willingly mm -hmm. but when, you, when you're doing something willingly it doesn't mean that you don't feel in your body mm -hmm. that this is tough mm -hmm. he felt the toughness mm -hmm. of being separated from the father mm -hmm. he felt it mm -hmm. so he's talking out of the feeling mm -hmm. as a human yeah. nature saying yeah. god this is father this is too much it's but so you're but if, no no but if, yeah. Let your will be done. I, he could have just walked away. No, no, I understand. He could have just. If God I, never forced him. I understand, but if I choose to do something willingly, my emotions would be relaxed. No, they won't be. Unless I have to do something that I don't, I don't like. Then with the emotions that you just described. Well, okay, so if that's the case, if well, that's the case, yeah. yeah? If your son is about to die, mm -hmm. God forbid, mm -hmm. yeah, mm -hmm. someone's about to kill your mm -hmm. son, you're about to go and save him, mm -hmm. is your emotions relaxed at that time? Well, you're basically just um, acknowledging what I'm saying. No, but your emotions are not... Yeah. I am saying if Jesus yeah. was emotional, was, was, yeah. was not relaxed. He wasn't relaxed, of course. He wasn't relaxed. So but yeah. in the face mm -hmm. of discouragement, mm -hmm. he still faced and said, I'm going to do it. And he went and did it. Yeah. So it doesn't mean that he wasn't unwilling. You, so when you go and save your son, mm -hmm. it doesn't mean you are unwilling mm -hmm. to go and save your son. Mm -hmm. Even though your emotions say, whoa, this is going to be tough because I'm going to have to fight these people. So much battle going on. It doesn't mean you're unwilling. You are willing take, to do it, but your emotions like, oh. Take this cup so that's away why emotions, me. yeah. Take this cup away from me. Yeah. If it's possible, yes. take this cup away from me. That's the exactly. emotions. Yeah. If, if, but if he said, not no. my will, but let your I will understand. be done. So, so he gave okay, it, he gave me, it, said, let me you know what? I will give let it to me, your will. Let me rephrase it, And then it, he my said, friend. let your will be done. Let me rephrase it, my friend. You're basically telling me to, let me just get a crazy idea. Uh, you need to beat up that guy. Uh, no, I don't really want to do it, but I have to listen to you because you're my father. That's basically what you're telling me. Yeah, but he wasn't forced, though. That how was, was not forced. He wasn't forced. That was not, if, because if, if, I, if I'm your child and I'm telling you, oh, I don't want to do this, take this cup away from me, I don't want to do this, but you're my father, aren't you then uh, emotionally forced? No, you're not. 
No, you're but emotionally you just, just you're emotionally feeling you're emotionally feeling down, not forced. Because you're doing it. Forced means someone's putting a gun on you or a knife or whatever. You're forced physically. You, you can, he wasn't. You, you, he did it you willingly be, physically. Yeah. So that's the, that's the question to your answer. What it We're going circular. To, yeah, what it comes down to, my friend, is that... No, I, I'm going to ask you a question now. Oh, you want to... Sorry. Okay. No, <laughs> sorry. What it comes down to is, well, Islam and Christianity, it's very similar. For, uh, no, it's not similar at all. Well, it is. It, it, there, there's a Jesus died crux. on the cross. Well, that's that's the crux of the matter. Yeah, but yeah. Islam denies that Jesus died we, on the we, cross. And it is a grave point, because for us, it's so uh, Islam polytheism. And for you, it's uh, your mon your version of monotheism. For you, the, you have a trinitarian uh, god. That's the crux, and it is a grave matter because if I believe in that, I would end up in hell. And if you were to believe in what I believe, you would end up in hell. But in a but, sense, it, okay. we all acknowledge uh, Moses and Noah. And in terms of that, that point, there is similarity. That point, there but are, the core of the matter, yeah. we do, we do, we uh, disagree on. Mm -hmm. But. What I want to ask you is, mm -hmm. Islam denies the crucifixion of Jesus. Uh, exactly. Yeah? Yeah. Who mm -hmm. made the Christians believe that Jesus was crucified, according to Islam? I'm not, again, I'm not, I'm not a scholar. I'm a... Have you read the Quran? I have read the Quran, yes. So according to the Quran, I'm only asking you. Mm -hmm. I'm not asking scholarly questions. Mm -hmm. It's a symbol. Mm -hmm. Who made mm -hmm. Christians believe mm -hmm. that Jesus was crucified, according to Islam? Uh, God in the Quran says, "Shubhi uh, lahum." He made it appear that he was um, he was uh, a sacrificer. So Allah made it appear. He made it appear, yeah. That he was crucified. Exactly. So Allah deceived Christians. Allah's the one. He, well, so my, my is, you, you, keep you have to blame Allah. A, For me to believe yeah, that yeah. Jesus was crucified, yeah, yeah. you must blame Allah because he's the one that deceived me. Uh, that deceived Christians. He said he made it. <laughs> but you keep doing this. He no, but you just said it yourself. I understand. You said it yourself. You're, you're you giving this. it your own uh, twist. What is my twist? You're being. Uh, what is my twist? Sorry? What is my twist? What did your I twist? Twi your twist is. What Allah says is that He made it appear. No, you huh? said that. I, I said it. That okay. This is so what, the what is my says. twist? He, he made it appear, and then uh, you're basically portraying Allah as a deceiver. So who deceived Christians? Well, yeah, Quran says or, He's a deceiver. No. He Can said, we read the well, yeah, we read, uh, makro, makro, uh, in, uh, That's Surah 354, that is, but yes, I'm, so, I'm talking no, about no, Surah 4157. That's not a char characteristic of Allah. What? Uh, that he is a deceiver. Surah 354 uh, he, what, what says he, he's a deceiver. What, no, what he says is that the, um, uh, the uh, hi hypocrites, they plan and plot against him, but he's the best. Okay, so if but he's not a makro. Yes. Sorry. What would you call yes. if someone, if yes. Daniel, yes. made you to believe yeah. I am dead? Yes, and yeah, exactly. No, but but exactly. I am alive. But he, no, no, no. At the same but time, you, yes. that's not my question. Yes. That's yeah. not my question. Yeah. Would you not yeah. say Daniel is lying right. by making you to believe, by twisting the events, exactly. making you to believe that I am she dead? She died. So, but Daniel yes. is doing that. So Daniel is a liar. So yeah. I am responsible, remember. <laughs> no, no. What he, did is, what he did is, he cannot let a mighty messenger like Jesus to be sacrificed by men. That is why what sacrifice? he... sacrifice? Why would Jesus sacrifice? Well, they were planning on sacrificing him, weren't why? they? They weren't planning to sacrifice Jesus. They are planning to kill Jesus, they, they, but not kill, sacrifice. To, to, sorry, they are different. Sorry, sorry, sorry. Yeah, sir, crucify. They, they are different. Yeah, my, my but that's not the point. That. That's not the point. The point is... What would you call Daniel? Mm -hmm. Okay. Who made you mm -hmm. oh, let me put, think like she died? Mm -hmm. Let no. me let me put it simple. Different, uh, the, much the simple example. Comes with guidance. My, much yeah. simple example. You went home for six o'clock dinner. Yes. Okay. Your mom said. Mm -hmm. Your mom said mm -hmm. she made a dinner pasta. Mom, she made spaghetti. Whatever. Okay? Yeah. Anything. You set up. You you set you set on the dinner table. Mm -hmm. There wasn't spaghetti, mm -hmm. but there was 
just hummus mm -hmm. or falafel. Yeah. Okay. Would you say to you, would you not think that your mom lied to you when she said she made spaghetti? Oh, no, this is a total different, totally different no, analogy. It's both of them, both of them are lying. No, no, no it's not. Both of them are lying. You can, no. no. So your mom what's, what's, her, what's your name again? My, my name is irrelevant. Okay. Okay, irrelevant. Can yeah, I call you irrelevant? Yeah, call, call me, call it me was irrelevant. Abdul no, half an hour ago. When I'm telling you in front of. Can I tell you? Yes, can I call you Muhammad? And, um, okay, can, can I? I will just call you sir. Yeah. You can just sir. Sir. Yeah. Jesus was crucified. Mm -hmm. I'm a Christian here. Mm -hmm. Allah made me think that he was crucified. No, he made it. He yeah. made me. He made it appear yeah. that he was crucified. But, so yeah. I am thinking mm -hmm. that Jesus crucified mm -hmm. because of Allah. But he came. Who's the deceiver this, here? He, but this, at the same time, he came with clear guidance. Who? Show, the same. The, the father that you worship is the same God that we worship. No. So at the same time. It's a different topic, but it's not. No, no. It, in in a sense, at the same time, he came with the Quran as the successor, as the final, no, no, no. As, as the Quran, final book, sir, sir, that, explaining sir, what happened at that time. Sir, that, just that no, it that's seemed. False. That That's he was, false. Sorry? Because Quran came 600 years later, okay? Within 600 years, Daniel mm -hmm. and Jesus' mother and mm -hmm. all the disciples mm -hmm. believe that Jesus died. 600 years later, mm -hmm. Allah comes, mm -hmm. okay? Who lied to all those people, give you only and one verse, well. mm -hmm. give you only one verse mm -hmm. out of blue mm -hmm. the, without an explanation and then tells, I made it appear. So, Allah lied for 600 years according no to your man, magic. You're a liar. So he Thank deceived you. he deceived the Christians no, for 600 he years. He no man, you're the he deceiver. Provide, and you're the deceiver. Last time when I checked, you weren't he Allah standing. Yeah. That's bad. Okay, so can you talk about Surah 4, 157? No, no, no. Okay. Talk about your beard. So Allah deceived the Christians. Jesus, he didn't deceive. So this, for 600 years, came, no, who believe? No, so when they believed that Jesus was crucified yeah, yeah. for 600 yeah. years, it's because of Allah, no. right? We believe that He always provided guidance, okay. and if you were to genuinely follow that guidance, you wouldn't uh, Mary never had a be deceived. Uncovered. Uh, as you're Jesus portraying a that the, the, the people were for such Jesus a substantial a time. We believe that there was always guidance. God isn't Jesus. unjust Jesus in the sense that he's beard. not going to provide guidance to the people. Okay, so but can you prove that can you prove that he provided guidance for Christians? Jesus had long hair like me. I'm Jesus. Yeah, you believe in me. Can you prove that from the Quran? I've got the Quran here for you. No, that's not a Quran. And I've got the I've got I've got the hadith as well. I've got the tafsirs. Yeah, you know, the Quran prove that yeah. Allah uh, provided Allah guidance. The Quran, the unpure people can't touch it. You're unpure, you can't touch yeah. it. This is the Quran here. Yeah. You're unpure, you can't touch it. I'm impure. Yeah, yeah. Do you believe I'm impure, yeah. as he's saying? You got no faith. Jesus. Do you believe I'm, I'm impure, Jesus. as he's saying? Do you believe saying? in me to be Jesus? Do you believe the scriptures that? are fulfilled in me? Do you believe in me? I'm Jesus, and I'm telling you. Jesus had long hair and I've got long beard. Do you believe me? Sir, I am sorry that you are fronting, so I'm not capable to My wife, you can't have this truth. Oh, really? You're going to go. You can't have this conversation. I talk to you, but leave Islam. Leave Islam and come to Jesus. One thing we have in common, if we genuinely ask guidance to our Creator, it will guide us. Look, that's Jesus Christ. You're dressed like a uh, woman, bro. We'll, we'll leave it in the middle. Your hair's like a much. woman. God bless you. Thank you. Sir, do you I'm Jesus. You're talking to me. Sorry, I have to, I have to I'm go. Jesus. My you said you are I'm here. Look, I'm Jesus. Okay. I'm Jesus with long hair. Well, you can't handle me. Okay. You can't handle me. Okay. I'm here. I'm Jesus. You're like a woman, bro. I can't handle you on what? Yeah, you can't handle me. I'm more close to Jesus than you. Okay. All right. Um, we have Muslims here who interrupt for no reason. It's very clear that. Um, the Quran says Muhammad was a sinner. The Hadith says Muhammad was a sinner. And the Quran confirms that Jesus was sinless. Who's better, Jesus or Muhammad? Another thing is in the Bible that Jesus Christ said, take away from the, to the Father. He said, if it's possible, take away this cup from me, but not as I will, as you will. Jesus went on the cross willingly, not unwillingly. That's what we were discussing here. And then we finished with who deceived the Christians that Jesus was crucified. Allah, according to Surah 4157, Allah made it appear that Jesus was crucified.
So according to Islam, we are deceived because of Allah. And Surah 354 says Allah is the best of deceivers. But the Bible says our God is the truth. Jesus is the way, the truth and the life. There's no, there's no darkness, there's no lie in him. Who do you rather follow? The one who has the truth and no darkness or the one full of lies and sin, which is Muhammad and Allah? Leave Islam and come to know Jesus Christ. It's a dark religion, Muslims. We love you. God bless you.